Hey guys, KJ here with yet another Sony Vegas tutorial continuing in the series. Today I want to talk about video effects presets. Now I've talked about presets for other things. Presets are basically setting something so when you come into Vegas you can load up something uh, like a preset of an effect, an interface, something that you've used before and you've saved. That way you can just come right back into Vegas and it's already preloaded for you or you know it's pretty pre-loaded uh, for you. I mean preset as soon as you've loaded it. So it'll load all up so um, I'm going to show you an example today is a fact called the cookie cutter I'm going to make a whole video dedicated to cookie cutter but I'm going to show you an example of how to set a video uh, you know what do you call it? a preset video effects preset so I'm going to go into my project media here or, or actually media generation to show you an example and I will take the color uh, let's take the color blue here or red sorry <laughs> not blue um, okay, so I'll take the color red, and I'm going to go into uh, Video Effects, and I'm going to select Cookie Cutter. I'm going to take this square top left border and just drop it in. This is the Cookie Cutter effect, which cuts away um, everything, or, you know, how you, not everything, but cuts away whatever you uh, select it to do. And I'm going to select it to cut away, uh, away all but the selection. And um, now I'm going to set square, and here allows me to move it around, and you can see in my video window if I can move this here. Um where I want to do it and I'm going to make a widescreen preset so whenever I want to edit a widescreen video I can just load this I can drop this effect on it so it's preset and ready and make pretty much make my own effect so it's all ready and I don't actually have to go set this all up again so I'm going to make the size where I want it to be I'm going to repeat the X so you actually kind of get that effect there that they're I kind of mess with the borders kind of. let's see if I can mess around with anything here Okay, there you go. That's what I want. I kind of get this to work right. Now the borders cut this down just a little bit. Move it down. And obviously, this is a perfect 16 by 9. But uh, basically, it would cut away all the media. It would cut away um, everything except for that red or whatever the media would be. So I can have a video playing where that red is or something like that. And the black would be your little line. So. Let's just say, for example, that's you know just about widescreen, even on both sides. Um, I'm going to go up here and say widescreen format because that's you know obviously the format or preset I want to save. I'm going to click this little disk icon, save preset, and I'm going to click out. And now, if I scroll down, I'm going to see this widescreen format. So basically, you corrected, uh, you created your own effect or your own preset. So if I was to delete this and let's say I restart Vegas, I'm not actually going to restart Vegas. Take blue or whatever media I have and drop it in here. Let's say it's a video. I take this widescreen format, and drop it on, and there you go. And there's a little problem with the border that I didn't, you know, make that totally. You know, that's a whole cookie cutter tutorial I have to explain to you. Now, if I actually had an actual video, so I'm actually going to go to my Explorer. Go to, uh, let's see, I'll go to Kid Guru here. Open this up. Okay, sorry, I had to get a clip there. So I just got a quick clip of my friend. This is a, a couple second clip of my friend skating. Do you see here, it's kind of cut off, but not too much. You know, it's uh, not really the widescreen type I want. So I'm going to go to my MIDI video effects. And remember, I saved that preset. I'm just going to go here, drop it in. And okay, maybe it's not perfectly notable. Okay, there you go. Sorry, I was gonna say, not a notable difference, but see now it's cut away all but my selection. I can still edit this, so I can mess around that border. See now there's no border. I can kind of feather it, make it a little bit blurry, and I can even increase the size to see just to, to fit my video right there. So it's that type of widescreen format, more theatrical stuff like that. I can even change the shape to a circle if I want to, or a rectangle. You know, I can do all these crazy effects all because of this preset I made. So you can make your own preset. It doesn't have to be widescreen. Maybe you can do something with a blur. Maybe you like, instead of, you know, light blur, extreme blur, soft blur, yellow blur. Maybe you want to make, you know, a massive blur, you know. You know, ma whatever you want to do. You can do these cool presets and save it so Vegas is ready and it's more convenient for you that you created your own effects and you have your own presets ready. So that's, guys, how you make your own preset effects. And I just use cookie cutter exam as an example, guys. But remember, explore around the effects. You can, uh... Pretty much do it with every effect and save your preset. And that goes for other stuff too in Vegas. So stay tuned for the next tutorial, guys. Don't forget to check out www.adriansec.com and email me adriansec at gmail.com for any questions. For exclusive content of my updates on the internet, check out twitter.com slash kidguru. Thanks, guys. Catch you in the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe.